you need to be there. You need to be able to feel, you know, and see somebody communicating with you. It's like me always using my hands. I'm always speaking with my hands. It's so critical. What do you think are some of the key strategies to kind of help maintain cohesion? I mean, in the company culture, we've talked about this a little bit, but if it's predominantly work, a remote work, how do you keep that culture together so we've shifted that a little bit for 24 we've put on our target to to reconvene to connect to actually be face to face we know this type of conversation on a screen has about a seven or eight or ten percent uh, of value in in our communication body language is 30 40 percent so you need to be there you need to be able to feel you know and see somebody communicating with you. It's like me always using my hands. I'm always speaking with my hands. It's so critical. There's some connection, right? So we can get to that 50 or 60% communication level. So there's some connections face to face. So for 24, we've we've changed it up. We're having different team building opportunities, quarterly off sites. We fly people in. We did this starting in December. We We flew everybody to San Diego. We spent time together in an offsite, did some strategic planning. We did some goal setting. We did some team building events. Uh, so for us to have that uh, connection again, we definitely are going to be reconvening, meet together. That's important for us. Our model is that uh, that's what it has been. We're going to keep doing those things because we, we see it as a genuine, authentic thing that impacts the lives of the folks that are participating.